What's up everybody, I'm Aerostar Expression here, and today I'm going to bring to you guys some gameplay on the map Standoff, and today I'm going to be using one of my favorite MTAR classes that I really don't use too often, but in this game I decided that I was going to use my MTAR class, and the two attachments I'm going to be using on my MTAR today is going to be the Silencer and the Fast Mag. Now I switched the Fast Mag out for the stock attachment because I was really looking to reload fast and get some extra kills in there if I can to kind of save my life a bit when I need to reload quick and run away get out of some dirty situations that I don't think I'd normally get out of but today I'm playing some hard point with a couple of my buddies on some multi-team and I'm gonna be rocking all of my kill streaks later on one of my friends is gonna get so many orbital v stats for me it's gonna help out a lot you'll see some awesome kicking ass later in this game for sure, but today I want to talk to you guys shortly about key concepts in life and things you can do every day to help yourself succeed in your everyday life and things that you do, playing Call of Duty, getting good grades in school, getting the job that you want. So it all works together and you can definitely use all these tips that I'm about to give you to your advantage so that you can succeed in your life. So the first tip that I can give to you guys for succeeding in life is self-discipline. Now. If you have great self-discipline, you can stop yourself from almost anything, really, if you have amazing self-discipline. Now, self-discipline can go as far as you stopping yourself from eating that last potato chip or not even opening the bag of potato chips to you making yourself work harder at the gym to lose that weight or getting the job by typing that essay in the hour and filling out all those applications and things like that. Now, the next tip that I can give you guys is extreme focusing. With good focus skills, you can set your mind to anything and get it done. So with focusing, it really helps out a lot if you put your mind to it and you have a plan. So you have to put a plan in place while you're focusing so that you know what you're gonna do and how you're gonna be able to plan it out. So focusing on the tasks that you want to do can help bring the task more realistically to life than ever before. So you can put your mind to saying like, oh, I'm gonna get a good grade and you have to make a plan that you're gonna study at least like 15 minutes a night so that you know the material that's gonna be up on the test and focusing on that test and the material that's going to be on the test is going to help you to remember what the material is going to be on the test so that you can study for it and you can get it kind of drilled into your head so that you know what it is and when it comes to the test time that extreme focusing that you work so hard to use and study up for the test will come into place and you'll be able to get the good grade on the test and you'll feel proud now the next tip that I want to talk about shortly is open-mindedness now if you have an open mind and you're ready for others to put input into your situation and whatever you're trying to get if you have an open mind and you're thinking about different situations and different ideas that come towards you and ways that you can solve your problem or get to your goal if you have an open mind and you're ready for new plans and situations that can help you out to succeed and get to your goal you can very well take those ideas and plans that others or yourself think of and you can mold them into a way that you know will work for you so you can put ideas out there and then change them up or mash them together and tie them with other ideas so that the ideas will work and they can be a lot better than the first idea or the second idea that you thought of so tying ideas together is a great way to accomplish stuff and also being able to accept failure so if your first idea doesn't work and it doesn't like work out the way you wanted it to so you really have to just move on to the next idea and hope the next one works because if you can't accept that you failed the first time you're never gonna be able to move on and you're gonna be stuck basically repeating if you keep trying the same concept or if you don't find a new idea and a way that you think that it can work the next time or if the idea is not working then maybe just like tweak it a little bit so that it'll work for next time and you'll know what's coming for whatever you're trying to succeed now this game clip is going to be winding down and I'm gonna end it a bit early because I really am running out of time with the time that I have to upload this video so I'm gonna be ending it a bit shorter today but 
I'll be sure to try to make a full length commentary tomorrow, but this game is going to be coming to a wrap for this commentary. If you guys want to like and subscribe for more commentaries, gameplays, and more, that would be helpful. Also, like the video and comment below on what you want to see in my next couple of videos. This is X Preston signing off. See you guys later.